Well, once again, we are, are very fortunate to have the legendary Hein Creek with us to chat about rugby again, but this time in a bit of a different perspective in the sense that he's at a school, Maritzburg College. Hein, welcome. So good to chat to you again. And, and how are you finding that transition from the Netherlands, being a technical director to the direct, director of rugby at Maritzburg College? How's it changed been? Um, hi, Ryan. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's different. Um, it was sprung upon us very suddenly. Um, mm -hmm. You know, with, with COVID and, 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 and Anneli not being able to join me across in the Netherlands um, at the end of, uh, beginning of last year, as we would have hoped, um, this opportunity arose for us to come to Marisburg College, um, both of us staying on campus. Um, and me, uh, it's been a while since I've been in school boy rugby, so I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting there. It's a lot more yeah. busy, I promise you, than, than anything <laughs> else. Um, but, but doing the transition slowly and... Um, uh, it's just exciting to be back in back on the field and doing things and um after what's it uh, more than a year for me yeah. um you know so um but but it, it was a quick transition um unexpected but but we're having fun no that's good hein and i think you you also enjoy your challenges because it likes putting to your name <laughs> to test so <laughs> i'm sure it'll go well hein? the same yeah. um but on that uh seeing your fixtures list and there's, it's quite a, a juicy one, so to say. Um, but how, how do you and your, your mind sort of manage expectations in that regard? Um, it's tough because, um, you know, college, Madrasba College has been, um, been one of the stalwarts in, in KZN rugby yeah. for many, many years. Um, and Glenwood and Hilton sort of over the last five or six years um, been leading the pack in KZN. Um, so managing expectations is tough because expectation is always there to succeed, especially at a school like college. Um, but we need to be realistic. Um, we, we took all the eight teams away now um, to a festival at Fichat Park in Bloemfontein. Did really, really well. Um, first team played Dainefeld and Diamantfeld, which is um, some of the top schools up in, in, in the northern part of the country and, and, and acquitted themselves well of that. Um, but the challenge is is you know coming up playing the local teams here how do we how do we be successful um and then in future how do we make college competitive on a national level and how do we compete nationally outside kzn mm, mm. no excellent that that sounds good but hein are you able to share if possible what would be a sort of like one of your goals a bit more specifically if anything this this season what would be a sort of a goal that would make you feel you know what actually that, that that's that's something I was aiming for and makes you is feel that, good. Is that, is that now for the school or just for the first team? Well, let, let's let's have a look at the school. So I think I think yeah, a good question. Um, I think as a school, our biggest challenge is fielding the thirty teams that we have every single weekend. Um, yeah. You know, we there, there's very few schools that can match us in numbers, um, which brings us own challenges. So I think for me, giving boys a playing opportunity every single weekend, if other schools do not have fixtures for us um, and finding filler fixtures for them. So I think that's the first one. And the second one is um, giving every boy the opportunity to, to, to express himself in a year, you know, especially after a year where no rugby yeah. was, where there was no rugby. So offer, the main goal this year is to get out and enjoy for the bigger, for the bigger broader spectrum Get out, play, enjoy yourself, um, and find them as many fixtures as we can. Currently, I think we've got all the way up to uh, beginning of July, and then we've got four in the third term. So we're playing rugby till 21 August, COVID permitting. Very, very nice. Well, that's good. Excellent, Hein, and good luck. But it must be a bit of an interesting sort of way to go about things because, you know, the guys haven't had contact for so long. Maybe there's a bit of a batch of fingers and just trying to get that rust out again. Yeah. But... Has it been quite an intense approach or have you been gradually building up to obviously this first week, weekend's fixture? Um, very, very good question. We, 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 we overhauled our SNC program. Um, well, it, it got overhauled just before I got here um, and we made one or two finer tweaks. Um, and we've literally been focusing on micro skills and full on just our conditioning. Our mindset was we'll rather go into games being undercooked in terms of structured play, right. but our skills, our skills and our conditioning was going to carry us through. Um, because I don't know how much, how much rugby you've watched over the past week. 
handling and the basic skills are the things that, that went first. It's like in golf. It's a short game that goes first. And we, we've been keeping that up. So, you know, going away now and playing three games, um, you know, we played 15 and college won 13 of those. They only lost two. Oh. And, and, our, and our, literally our conditioning of our high performance squads and our micro skills are the things that carried us through the games. Now we have time to sort of build the structured play going around it. And we followed the Saru and South African schools return to play document literally to the T. So we, our, our eighth week of their program that they suggested was literally the first Friday we played. Um, sure. So, so we, we took it, we took it very, very slow, um, but a massive, massive focus on our, on our conditioning. Um, the reality is everybody will catch up with their conditioning, you know, as, as they start yeah. playing. So yeah. the challenge is what do we do to stay ahead? Mm, no, good, Hein. That's going to be great to see. But you're kicking off against a, a very well-known school, an old rivalry, Durban High School. Um, it's going to yes. be a great one. And it's away, so it's, it's yeah. going to be interesting. How are you feeling, Hein? Are you eager to get going, or is a bit of, bit yeah. of nerve, uh, nerves? Mm. Um, always nervous, always nervous, because you never know, you never know what's going to happen on a Saturday. Um, but, but, but it's good nerves. Um, we, have, we, we, have, we had tremendous prep. Um, my, my two first team coaches um, and with a little bit of help for me um, has prepped the team well all our other teams are prepped really really well and we, um, we, we're ready to go um, I have a good feeling about Saturday but I mean you never know yeah. um, and I do, believe, I do believe the fact that there is no spectators takes that away game stigma um, away um, yeah. makes it easier for the visiting team to play um, so yes, we um, slightly nervous, but good nerves. It's well, good to be back at the uprights, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this yeah. has been long-awaited. My word, it's been really, yeah. really good. But I think it's also quite nice that you guys are doing a, a double header against Durban High School. What was sort of is that a traditional traditional thing, or is that just something you knew implemented new this year? Um, so. <sighs> The, 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 the Durban school or the KZN schools works a bit different in terms of structures. We have a, we have a head of sport, uh, a deputy head that's head of sport and they bash out the fixtures. Um, and because fixtures were chucked upon us very, you know, unexpectedly with COVID and nobody really expected us to come back. Um, they had to, certain traditional rivalries had to come out. Um, and generally every now and again, there is double headers. So we have the double header against DHS and against Glenwood. Um, when you'll see Michael us and, and, and Hilton have their double header going. Yeah. So, um, you know, it, it is, I'm not a hundred percent sure if it's a very traditional thing or not. Um, but it's great to play them home and away. It's great to play Glenwood home and away. We just traditionally a double header. And then, um, the big fixtures at the end, office, Pretoria boys, kids, um, those are the big ones. <laughs> hey, yeah. yeah, those are, those are great fixtures. Always good to yeah. watch those. Definitely. But it's, it's also good in the sense, like you mentioned, that you're playing a uh, double hit against uh, Glenwood as well. Um, you like those challenges, don't you? You enjoy being pushed out in the right direction. A challenge is a good thing, don't you think? You must. Um, it definitely mm. gives you something to work towards. Um, you know, last time I was in the schoolboy school arena, um, the big challenge was grey. Um, took, us, took us four years to, to crack the net, but, to crack the nut, sorry, but we did it in, in 2015. Um, and, and, and the big challenge here is, is Glenwood. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but college hasn't beaten Glenwood in 10 years. Um, exactly. I think oh, it's 17 outings, 17 outings and there's two draws in there and a few close calls. So um, the pressure, I don't want to say the pressure, but you know, it, it would be a good one to, to get one over them um, and then whatever happens on the last one. <laughs> yeah, I'm, but yeah, there's again, there's a good energy around what you're doing, and I think it's going to be really great to see how the guys go about it. And uh, it's so interesting yeah. because I think the brand of rugby that Manchester College has been playing for so many years is is being consistent. And yes, you, you'd love to get a win, but I think you you come in with the right angle and, and perhaps a different mindset, which has brought up maybe a breath of fresh air to the the whole rugby program. I must, uh, Ron, just to say, to add something, I'm, I'm in a very fortunate position where in every single age group, there is a coach that has coached the first team before. Oh, wow. Um, uh, you know, with the under-14s, we've got Steve Boert. Uh, with the under-15s, there's Ricky Cherengende. With the under-16, Tim Orchard. Um, our 13 coaches, Ryan Carl, a, a legend in, in college rugby. 
Um, and then currently the two first team coaches, um, you know, um, Cameron Fraser and Goy Leroux. Um, Goy also an old boy and played for the first team uh, two years. So I, I'm, I'm in a fortunate position where I'm working, where I have coaches that, 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 that knows what it takes to coach a first team um, and are not, not scared to coach down other teams as well. Um, so everybody, everybody chips in and has a role. So I'm, I'm, I'm very fortunate in that regard to have these amazing guys working with me. No, that's good. That's good. It does create quite an atmosphere in it. I think that's why Mercer College's tradition is so strong. It's yeah. almost like a, I could say, a 16th man on the field, I would say. You know, does it come through? <laughs> because you've they, 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 yeah. they, they do, they, they do, they do play a, 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 a hard brand of rugby. Let's put it that, that way. You know, you've, mm -hmm. you've been in a college game when, when you run off the field. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. I, I must admit, um, all due respect to the school, and it, it did sort of made me think, oh, this is interesting, but I see you guys are fixed against Clifton. That must be a, a first time, because that doesn't happen too often. Could you give us a bit more how you're feeling about that one? And, and in the same breath, it's also good that you are playing different forms of schools in that regard. Yeah. So... Um those were one of the those were one of the fixtures that um, our, our head of sport Brandon Swat when he came back mm -hmm. um, was like well nobody nobody wanted to pick it up we will um, mm -hmm. so what we're doing is that our B teams will play so second team will play Clifton and then our A, our, our B teams will play their A teams um, and then West um, Coast Salia um, has been so great to to chip in so the first yeah. team and our A teams will be playing against them. And then we need to see how many fixtures we have for the rest and, and find fillers. Um, you know, we, we go down to Fs and I've got 10 open teams. So we need to find other games for them. Um, but the other schools are generally quite, quite helpful in, in filling those fixtures for us. So Clifton will be um, versus our, our, our second team and our, our top, our high performance teams will play um, Saro Salia. Yeah, well, I mean, I think it's a good thing. It's, you know, yeah. you guys obviously play at a unique level and it's good. Yeah. But the fact that you're also able to meet people where they are, and well, schools, I'd say, where they are and grow the game. I'm sure they're going to learn a lot from you, which is it's really, really great. Yes. Um, but how do you sort of balance tradition with new ideas and new techniques? Because, I mean, most of college, like I said, it's a steep tradition. They're not going to throw certain things away anytime soon. Yeah. How do you sort of balance that? Um, absolutely great question. Um, you... No, in terms of a great question, I, I, I had a, a lunch today with some with some of the old boys. They have a, um, a, a big meeting on, on Friday. Mm. And I think the challenge is to, to establish in my first year now is to establish what is, what is old traditions and what is new traditions that are not old, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, and just to get a proper understanding of what works, what doesn't work, where does it fit into the school structure? Um, college is a very hierarchical system, um, down to the boys. Um, you know, how do we, how do we, how how do we take my ideas that I have of how I want to do things, and use that as a strength? Um, and then the simple motto is for me. It's, it's and, and those are the questions that I always ask. If it's a tradition, does it make us one percent better? If it does, we keep on doing it. We need to we need to see how do we. How do we take traditions that are there? Do they make us 1% better? If they do, we keep on doing them. If they don't, how do we change what we're doing to give us 1% extra? Mm. Uh, but, but my first year is just learning how does things work, where do we go, um, and small adjustments. And then at the end of the year, we'll do a big review. And then, um, you know, if change needs to be made, we'll make it. If not, um, you know, we keep on going. We need to see. Absolutely, absolutely. And I know you said that it's obviously your first season, so I totally understand. So this question might, might be a bit hard to, to answer, but the fact, like you said, that you're playing four fixtures in the third term, um, is that sort of a dying thing? Or are you going to be being, trying to keep that going for as long as possible to play rugby into... Normally, occasionally, in schools do that. I think it's only yourself and Glenwood, I think, that actually do that. Where the West Indian, that's, that's, the, that's tradition. That's what they do. Yeah. That's the norm. Um, in, in, in KZN, they play soccer in the third yeah, term. Yeah. So, so it's definitely something that I would like to keep going. Mm. Um, and with that in mind, that would then be, for instance, with schools out of province. Um, you know, the, the, we've got Glenwood now, but then Pretoria Boys, Afis and Kez are all three, three, mm. three um, Gauteng schools um, and away fixtures. Definitely something we need to keep going, but those are discussions that I have input, but they're happening at a, a bit of a higher level above me. 
<laughs> yeah, which 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 it makes sense. Hein? Yeah, really. Yeah. Good. Well, it's it's a uh, kickoff is just around the corner, and Heino Rishi really really well. Going to be watching your season very very closely, and maybe we can have a, a review of the season. Let let's see how things go if you're not too busy. <laughs> but I love it. There's we'll, lots of pressure. We'll be, it's, no, no, it's always great to catch up with you. Um, and yeah. and 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 Ryan, I really hope COVID uh, doesn't interrupt our yeah. season. Um, and that's yeah. that's for all schoolboy rugby. Yeah. Um, let's hope. Let's hope not, because it's so, yeah, it's, it's yeah. I think it's one of the great features of South Africa is schoolboy rugby. I mean, it's just such a last ball that you can. Feel the energy. The guys are getting so excited. Let's hope we can really get it going and not just play one or two games. And let's hope everyone does what's required of them to make sure we go ahead and they don't do anything crazy to yeah, prevent it from happening. So, yeah. That, that's absolutely. Mm. Everybody does his part. We'll be, we'll, we'll, we'll be on the fields yeah. and keep going. Hi. Short chat. Great chat. But I want to wish you all the best and, and thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, Ryan, and um, have a great evening and um, also a great season ahead. We'll be, we'll be keeping in touch. Thank you. I mean, our, all, all our games are on DigiTV, so um, if people want to follow us, they can follow all our games on DigiTV. And, um, you know, we, we, we're going to try, all the KZN schools are going to try to live stream as much of the games as they can mm. because of no spectators being allowed. So our boys are literally playing, busing back, and then um, we're going to try to set up a facility at school where all the boys can sit in the hall and watch the first team play. Excellent. That's great. That's great. Yeah, technology has its uses after all. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Hein, you're a legend. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks for the Go chat. Well. Have a great evening. Well, Good luck. Have a well. great evening. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Yeah.